Hey friends! Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today's video is my new fridge restock plus pantry organization. I'm going to be putting away our grocery haul. I hope you enjoy this video and clean and organize with me or if you're trying to get some cleaning motivation going, I hope that this video helps you and inspire you to get up and tackle your own mess at home. Let's do this! I will link the video for this grocery haul or shopping in my description box below if you want to check out everything that we got. We skipped grocery shopping for a whole two months so this is a bit more than our usual groceries. It took me a while to get everything put away and organized but it is all worth it in the end. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome. I am so happy you're here. My name is Sel. I am a wife and a full-time working mommy of one sweet boy. If you like and enjoy contents like this as well as home cleaning motivation and home decorating, upload these kind of videos every Friday so be sure to subscribe and don't forget to turn your notification bell on so you wouldn't miss any of my future videos and if you are new here don't forget to introduce yourself in the comment box below I would love to get to know you I feel like you guys already know but if you are new here I usually like to start putting away all the frozen items first when we do our grocery shopping and then the fridge items and the last thing I tackle is the pantry since the food or items that usually goes there are not temperature sensitive. This freezer mostly holds all of our breakfast items, ice cream, anything that's easy dinner on the bottom and more breakfast items on the bottom like bacons and sausage we have lots of those we don't like to run out of them. So we keep them in here since it's a small freezer. We do have a chest freezer as well where we keep all of our, our raw meat and other frozen items. We got all of this beef, chakros, and steak from Sam's Club and it's a lot of them in one packaging so I like to separate them using this Ziploc bag since we don't use all of the meat at one time so that when we're ready to use them we can just defrost one item at a time or one bag at a time. Anytime I'm repacking and portioning any of our meat I do like to label and date them just so I am aware how long do we have them in the freezer or when did we get them. I know they do last a long time in the freezer but that's just for my peace of mind. They don't usually last for a long time in the freezer since we don't have too much. At most like a couple months we try to use them before they go freezer burn so that we're not wasting any food.
hide me at all Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else we are now moving on in our chest freezer. This is usually have all of our raw meats and other frozen items. A viewer asked me if this is how I organize our fridge every single month. Our freezer stays the same but our fridge changes every single week depending on what we have. So here in the freezer, it stays pretty much the same unless we're out of certain items or switch certain products. Everything is categorized in here. All the raw meat goes on the bottom and I organize them and categorize them with the white plastic baskets. I have one separate basket for all of the beef and a separate basket for chicken and pork. Or sometimes I put the pork with the beef basket if we have more chicken than beef the seafood are also separated in one basket and the fries since we have a lot of different kinds of them like curly fries um straight ones tater tots hash browns and waffle fries we like rice here how do you organize your chest freezer if you have one and how often do you clean your fridge please let me know in the comments down below if you have any tips and tricks with your own organization share it with us so it helps not only me but everyone that are reading the comment section as well I got you, and you got me too you can ride out of the blue I wanna do what you want to we can leave and run away Like I told you guys, the way I organize our fridge and pantry is always changing like every week. It depends on what we have in the fridge on that specific week. The only items that don't change its place in the fridge are the eggs, the soda, and the yogurt and fruit snacks. Since those containers seem to fit where I put them every time and if the organization I set functions for as well, then I don't tend to change it. I don't strive for perfect, I strive for function as it helps keep the fridge or any other area of our home clean and organized if it functions right. I just want everything to have a home, look put together, easy access and be visible at the same time to avoid any spoilage and waste. I 
get you And you got me too Hey, I've been dreaming now about you Every night I see your clearest day It's just something about the way you make me feel Cause I can't concentrate anytime you're beside me Yeah, it's what you do to me I can barely breathe Hey, I've been thinking about you And all the words that I'm gonna say Next time that I see a pretty face Cause I can concentrate Anytime you're beside me Yeah, it's what you do to me I can barely breathe It's what you do There's only a little bit left in this yogurt container so I'm just gonna condense this and transfer it in this glass jar and take it to work the next day. I really like this yogurt. I actually did forget to grab another one while we were at the store but it's okay I have the Chobani so there's that.
to clean inside our fridge, I only use water vinegar mix and then for the outside, I would either use e-cloth or Wayman stainless steel cleaner. We are now moving on in our fridge outside. We usually keep all of the barbecue items here in this freezer and any other overages in the chest freezer. I put them in here and then on the bottom it's mostly just beverage. Just like a 
go, lose control, play songs on the radio too loud. This could be magical. We do not have an actual pantry so this cabinet is what I use for all of our canned goods and some other um, extras on the top and then the big door next to the fridge is where I put the rest of our food.
be free of this heart. Yeah, I wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, need you here more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. Yeah, should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again? Hold you tight, call you mine Think about you every time I remember that it's over, yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop yeah, yeah, you never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay It's just a phase and everything is going just great I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop, yeah, yeah I always knew that this would happen, yeah Find a new distraction I need you more, need you here More than I would like to admit Can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot it's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah You never lose an argument, so I've been trying hard to pretend That I'm okay, it's just a phase, and everything is going just great I think about you a lot, it's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah I got a question before how do I track the expiration dates of all of the items that I decant and put in all of this container. I do put the date on the bottom of the container so that it's not too obvious or that you don't it's not in your face. I put them on the bottom with this chalk paint marker that I'm using. I'm also using chalkboard and this chalk paint marker to label all of this container because some of these container they don't have the same food all the time like i said depending on what we have for the week or for the month they change and then sometimes some items are in the um, large containers and then i condense them to the smaller ones because i don't have any more of them or i don't have enough and it's wasting space in the large container so i do like this method for now i am thinking of getting a cricket dough like the small one the cricket joy i've never had a cricket before but i really like the look of the vinyl um labeling and i don't know it just looks so pretty i was thinking of getting some from amazon like the ones that's already made but then to label all over my house it would be 
a whole lot of money i feel like it's i'd save money if i just get my own and then make my own label the only thing that's stopping me from getting a cricut though is like the monthly um subscription so let me know in the comments down below if you have one and if you're um if you're not doing the monthly subscription do you get like free um nice fonts because i'm afraid that i'm gonna get it and then i have to do the monthly subscriptions i didn't like really want to do that for now um, I wanted to, you know, be able to use some free fonts that are still really nice. So let me know in the comments down below if you have one and if you are able to get like some really nice free fonts.
Since our cabinet pantry is not pretty big, I set up these drawers in this part of the kitchen as our snack drawers because if you haven't noticed, we have a lot of snacks. We are snack junkie here. We also have our coffee bar in this area of the kitchen. The last thing I do is put all of these boxes in the garage. Usually my husband does this when he's here. He breaks them down and then put them in the recycle bin. But he is at work right now so I just put them in the garage and then when he comes home um, from work after he rests he will just like break them down and then put them in the recycle bin. I don't like to do that and he doesn't mind so he does that for me. 
and the last thing i do is just put away all of our um cleaning products if we get some for the month and this is pretty much it for this video my friends i hope you find this motivating and helpful i hope i inspire you to get up and tackle your mess at home or your to-do list of house chore and if i did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up it does help support my channel and lets me know what video you like the most from me comment down below and share this to your friend to inspire them as well if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification bell on so you wouldn't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you all so much for watching and spending time with me today. I truly appreciate you and I will talk to you all again on my next video. Bye friends!